little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome to a reacting video that's a little bit different. This one is True Ghost Stories, When You Hear, Feel, and Smell Spirits. I asked permission from the um, creator of this video if I could react to this because I have a story in here that I actually asked her if she could talk about. So today we are going to be reacting to this video. There's of course other stories in here, but you know, I'll let you know when we get to mine and you'll hear it because, I mean, she mentions my names, which I very much appreciate. Sharp Edges, thank you so much for letting me react to this video. Um, if you guys want to go subscribe to Sharp Edges, the username of like the page will be down below in the description, and I will also link the video down there below because I definitely think you guys should watch this video. It's very well put together, very well done, and uh, I've seen some of Sharp Edges videos, and they are com amazing videos, great stories, and this one was just as great. So let's get into it. In my life, I have heard, felt, and even smelled ghosts. As in everyone. Shop Edges is true, inexplicable stories. Do Shop Edges exist between what we perceive and reality? Here is a bit of this and that, and a viewer submission. The music box. I have this music box that I keep on the windowsill in my living room. Kind of forgotten, a little dusty. To tell you the truth, I don't play it much. But I'm in the kitchen one afternoon, and I hear it playing. So I run into the living room and I stare at it, and it's playing, and I figure, well, maybe it's got a little bit of music left in it and it'll stop after a couple of seconds. No, it plays the entire song. That already sounds a little eerie. Oh, boy. Dancing in the dark. So one night, same living room, I'm watching a sad movie. And I shut all the lights, I shut off the movie, and I'm kind of feeling melancholy, so I grab a pillow, and I'm humming, and I'm dancing in the dark. Honestly, that sounds kind of peaceful. Like, you're just on your own, you're listening to music, you're just feeling yourself and enjoying being melancholy. By myself. And I get this puff of ear in my face. <laughs> Needless to say, I put on all the lights, put the TV back on, and I don't dance in the dark anymore. You know, I'm wondering if maybe that was someone dancing with the person, like someone who passed away in her family, someone who was close to her and just wanted to dance with her. You know, it sounds very sweet, but also very terrifying. Aunt Mary. I have a aunt that died when I was quite young. She was like my favorite aunt. She loved little girls. She had two boys. So I, I think of her now and then, but I especially thought of her a couple of times when I went to check on my young babies in the cribs. I had two little girls. And when they were infants, I would go in the, into their rooms in the middle of the night to check on them, as mothers do. And not all the time, but sometimes I'd smell cigarette smoke. My aunt was a avid smoker. I always want to think that she came to check on my little ones. She always wanted a little girl. She always treated me like her own. The cold hand. You know, I find that story very sweet. You know, I mean, I don't know if this if this child's room has windows. Maybe someone was smoking outside and the smoke came in. But, you know, if the aunt passed away, she was an avid smoker, checking on the kids, you know, wanted her own kids. I think that's actually very, very sweet. I like that. I, uh, I sent in a story that she didn't use. She used a different story that you guys have actually already heard before. One story that I think I've spoken about here on this channel before was when I was about, when I was born, my, my grandfather on my dad's side of the family loved me, my abuelito. He absolutely loved me, and he took care of me whenever my parents, you know, needed him to. And around when I was about 18 months old, he passed away. I don't exactly remember when this happened, but I think it was either a month or a few months after, I was about two. Apparently, I had come downstairs and had asked my parents why abuelito was in my room the other night. My parents choose to believe that, you know, he came to say goodbye to me before he left. And if I remember my ma right, my abuelita had a very similar experience where he came just to say goodbye to her because 
I guess he felt like he needed to, to say goodbye to those that he loved. And I feel like that's what the aunt was doing, was checking in, saying goodbye, and, you know, wishing the children well. One afternoon, I was doing dishes. You know, you're by the sink, looking out the window, and I feel this coldness on my hip. A coldness that you can't even describe. Like ice cold. Go right through my hip. And I thought about it, and I, I said to myself, what is that? And it felt like a hand, like a little bit of a pressure. And after a while, it just went away. And finally, our final story is from YouTuber Disney Queen Skelly. She tells us that Disneyland has lots of ghost stories, told mostly by employees, but not a lot from guests. I mean, guests do tell their own stories, but you mostly hear these stories from the employees. But I'm kind of excited to know that I have my own story now. And you guys have heard this one already, but nonetheless, enjoy it. She submits this one. She says, My friend is afraid to go on the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland. It's been a childhood trauma experience for her. Sometimes she gets brave, though, and wants to go on. So we do. Um, I'm going to correct that because I actually kind of made a little mistake. Um, recently, Harley Baby posted a video where she talked about her first time on Indiana Jones, and it wasn't necessarily childhood trauma. It was high school trauma but you know in my opinion anyone who's younger than my age is a child so there was one time we went on and she had her hands gripped tight on the bar in front of us after the scene where the boulder comes at you there's a moment of darkness before indy tells you that wasn't bad was it it was in that brief darkness i felt a hand grab my shoulder she felt the same but when I looked at her hands, they were still in the bar. Upon asking if she grabbed my shoulder, she said no, and asked if I did the same. This happened in the last row of the car. Needless to say. Well, the way that it happened too, like I gave this, I gave Sharp Edges a brief summary, but it was almost as if someone took their hand and just went like that, like their fingers went. And it was weird. And Harley Baby, then she asked me about it too, but she also thought, that her necklace had hit her shoulder, so we weren't exactly sure, but it was just creepy. We asked to be in row one or two from now on. Thank you for listening to Sharp Edges, inexplicable but true. It was, this was honestly such a great video. I loved it so much. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep this up here. I know normally I cut out of the video to talk to you guys and tell you guys how I feel about it. But I'm actually going to leave this up because um, I'm going to leave her email up because I want you guys to not only understand that this person took the time to get to know, you know, took the time to ask us that wanted to know the stories, that wanted us to share her stories, share our stories with her. She took the time to listen. She took the time to really um, make sure that the way that she told it was how we wanted it, which is amazing, and I truly commemorate her for that. So this video is getting a 10 out of 10 for me. I loved it. I really loved it. I love how this whole thing came together. The stories before mine were absolutely awesome, and they were bone chilling and completely, completely creepy. I know a lot of people don't believe in ghosts. I know a lot of people are skeptics, but in stories like these, when you actually experience something like this, it's absolutely nuts. You don't think things like this are going to happen to you. When they do, they completely catch you off guard. And it's it's crazy when it does happen. So thank you, Sharp Edges, so much for letting me share my story with you and for sharing my story with your subscribers. I will definitely link your channel down below as well as this video because I feel like way more people need to watch it than already have. And I feel like you deserve may way more subscribers than you have. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And Sharp Edges, keep doing what you're doing because you're doing great. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. And I love you guys.